Good morning. Here we are on Gentry Creek, north of Eufaula Lake. It's a cold Saturday morning, but the sun is shining. And once you get paddling, you warm up. I uh, camped last night at the Gentry Creek campground. It was a little cold. I, I had a little fire. I wasn't going to, but I wasn't sleepy, so I went ahead and made a quick fire. It, uh, it got down to about freezing last night, but wrapped up in my sleeping bag. Wasn't too bad. I kind of got spring sinus allergies, so I was dealing with a lot of sinus drainage, so I did not sleep very well because of that, but it was, uh, I did okay. I got caught, so first night on that, it was kind of weird too, but it, it worked out. Now, I came down here to paddle the Deep Fork River, which is a few miles west of here, but earlier this week it rained a ton and last i checked before i headed out of town yesterday the river was above flood stage and over the road in areas so i knew that just wouldn't be safe i'm gonna go check it out uh, after i get back to camp and and eat and everything but i i doubt i'll be paddling it so i decided to head out into the lake and head up this direction see what i could find and luckily uh, this creek is silted in pretty bad when it meets the lake, but with the lake being so high, you just kind of paddle right through the trees and everything, and uh, about a mile up, it becomes a creek again, and I took it all the way to where it's, you know, only a couple inches deep. It was actually a pretty awesome little treat to be able to do this creek, because I know it's, it's something you probably can't paddle unless the water's high like it is. So I'm going to uh, about 3.8 miles. I got about two miles of uh, creek and then a little less than two miles of open water in the lake. Wind's not too bad. It'll be blowing me back home uh, going in, so that'll be nice. And hit some breakfast, pack up camp, and then I think I will try to find one more creek before I head back. Thanks. Okay, here I am in the Deep Fork River. It's kind of, it's really out of its banks here. It looks like I'm just in a little creek here, uh, but if you look on the map, it looks like you're in the middle of a lake because this is a huge wetland area for miles on either side of me. Uh, there's a lot of these little tributaries and creeks that you can, you can go down and then it looks like dry land, but it is not. It is trees that are multiple feet underwater. gonna paddle maybe another mile out or so or maybe around this bend and then I think I can take a shortcut through the trees through this little creek to get back to where I'm going I put in at Graves Creek paddled to where the Deep Fork River runs into you follow lake again this is a large uh, wetland area I've seen a lot of wood ducks a lot of everything. It's so much warmer now. It's beautiful out here. This is probably the muddiest water you'll find in Oklahoma. I mean, the paddle, I mean, it's, you know, two inches under the water and you can't see it. It's uh, pretty muddy here. All right, that is all. And this is where your trash goes. I'm uh, taking a little shortcut through this area. And I ran into this, uh, what I guess it's called a log jam. This is more of a trash jam. This is water right here, but I can't paddle through it. It's so thick with debris, a lot of trees and stuff, but just look at all the trash that has uh, accumulated out here in the middle of this beautiful wetland. So I'm gonna try to uh, navigate through all these trees Right over there, it's clear sailing again, so wish me luck. Well, this is where I was gonna put in at today. So I was looking all week at the maps and everything, and it looks like I made a good decision. This is a little too much current. I don't know if you can tell in the video, but, but this is too much for a kayak. I mean, there's like something crazy going on over there. Some rapids, some big stuff floating down. 
It's definitely flood stage here. So I think after I leave here, I'm about three miles from the actual Deep Fork uh, Wildlife Refuge Park. There's some trails and a boardwalk and cool stuff. So I'm gonna go check that out. But yeah, there's uh, there's no way I've been putting in this today. This is crazy. I've been going downstream and never coming back up. All right. Okay, last video of the trip. I stopped off at the Deep Fork Wildlife Refuge office. It is closed, of course, because of the coronavirus restrictions. But the trail, you can park right up to it and do the little boardwalk trail. You can see it back there behind me. A little crossing, I'm on this other little thing here. Uh, I'm the only one out here. There's not another soul out here, which is too bad because it's it's a little cold. The wind's picking up, but it's not too bad. I walked out on this little marsh here. Uh, you can see the river is flooding into it. So a lot of information here. It's a really, really neat place, the boardwalk. It's kind of short. I was hoping it was longer, but uh, still cool anyway. It's pretty ridiculous that I have never uh, never been here or even really heard about it until recently. So I had to check it out today. It's been a good trip. I definitely couldn't have paddled where I wanted to, so I made a good call switching places. Uh, I think that's about it. Just enjoying the last few minutes of this quick little, little overnight trip before I head home. Thanks for watching.